Today, we're really excited to announce Utheme Pro 118. We're also going to cover all the minor features which were added since Utheme Pro 117. Now let's get started and see what awaits you in this update. We added an option to disable elements, rows and sections in the page builder, which means you can work on the layout parts and publish them later. They will only be shown to the editor while the customizer is open and will not be visible to the public. Our disabled element is also highlighted in the page builder so you know that it is not published yet. You can disable rows in the row settings. The page builder will highlight the row with a red border. You can disable sections in the advanced settings. Its title will be highlighted red and there will be a small icon representing that the section is not published yet. We implemented a new concept into the builder architecture called a render tree. It is an abstraction of an actual page layout which allows us to manipulate the tree structure and its nodes before any final markup is rendered. This is the ground base of the main features of this release and the upcoming ones. All builder layouts now have a version number and can be easily updated according to the new Utheme Pro versions. This is great because element settings can be changed without breaking any layout. With this release, we also improved the save content. There is now a dedicated content.php template file which renders the content fields of the element when the layout is saved. The entire content is now saved with clean code and well-structured HTML markup and is 100% searchable. We refactored the element file structure. Now, the element configuration is available as JSON file in the element folder, side by side with the templates to render the element and the icons used in the builder. Due to the changed element file structure, there are some breaking changes for custom elements, so make sure to check out our blog post for more information. In response to your feedback, we have improved our cookie banner. We added an option that requires mandatory consent from your visitors before loading any cookies. Now next to the consent button, there is also a reject button. To make this option work, paste all the JavaScript that loads tracking cookies into the new cookie scripts field. The JavaScripts will not be loaded until mandatory consent is given. Our built-in Google Analytics feature in the advanced settings automatically takes mandatory consent option into account. As you probably noticed in the craft theme release, we added an additional header layout option called Horizontal Central Logo. Here, your menu is left aligned, the header position is right aligned, and the logo is centered. You can publish different modules or another menu in the header position to achieve a split menu look. Utheme Pro has an option to display breadcrumbs above the main content. The breadcrumbs will be visible on all pages except for the page builder pages. That's why we added a new breadcrumbs widget to WordPress. Now you can publish breadcrumbs on any widget area or within your Utheme Pro layout using the WordPress widget element. In Utheme Pro 117, we added a box decoration option to all builder elements. As you can see, the box decoration is not visible on dark backgrounds. That's why we added an option to inverse the box decoration style so it also looks great on dark backgrounds. We added three inverse styles for the box decoration of all of over 100 Utheme Pro theme styles. As 
you know, you can add an overlay color for images and videos published as section or column backgrounds. Now you can even add a gradient to your overlay for even a smoother transition. There is also a new text color option for the meta field in all builder elements. Finally, we updated our multilingual sites documentation. Now you can learn how to create multilingual websites with Utheme Pro. These are the main features of Utheme Pro 118. For the full list of features and fixes, check out the change log. If you want to know what awaits you in the next update, take a look at the What's Next section in our blog post. Now go ahead and try Utheme Pro yourself! And as always, let us know what you think in the comments below.